Hello, my name is Arlen. I am doing this presentation for my Community Change in a Global Era class taught by Jordan James at the University of New Mexico, where we basically had to teach the internet about a local issue or, or something going on in our community, and I chose to do the free fridge. So what is a free fridge? It's a mutual aid Basically, the community is coming together and they provide for each other. This is done by putting a fridge in a public location and volunteers will stock it and people will come in and get what they need. The basic saying that goes for many free fridges around the country is take what you need, leave what you don't, and give what you can. Something that is very evident is that this is solidarity, not charity. I had the pleasure of interviewing Vive, the founder of the Albuquerque Free Fridge, and they said, it is important to recognize a system isn't supporting the community. And we think it's important for the community to come together and support itself. Free Fridges actually began in Germany in 2012 as a result of food waste. Um, so it's still a fairly new concept, but now there are multiple community fridges all around the United States. We've actually got the idea from their friend in Portland, Oregon, um, where there are over 20 locations since 2021 in Portland. We've thought that it seemed like it would be a vital resource, so they brought it out to Albuquerque, where it is located at 606 Broadway Boulevard Southeast in Albuquerque, New Mexico. It was created in August 2021, and the fridge was actually donated by a community member. So this is what it takes to run a free fridge, specifically for the Albuquerque location, but I'm assuming that if you're interested in starting a free fridge of your own in your own community, it'll be about a similar cost. So firstly, you need funds. The, this location began with a thousand to two thousand dollars and then for every time they have to stock the fridge, it's about 200 to $300. They need volunteers, where the volunteers will go grocery shop four to seven times a week. This, beca this is because the fridge has gotten a lot more popular, as Viv says, so it does not stay stocked for long. There is an immense need for this fridge at the Albuquerque location. Volunteers will also maintain and clean the fridge and the area around it. And surprisingly, the main cost is actually the building materials, especially because during the pandemic, the prices for the building materials went up. And finally, you're gonna need the fridge itself. Like I said previously, it was donated by a community member, but the Albuquerque Free Fridge is needing more funds so they can open up more locations in Albuquerque. On the right, you can see the total amount raised by the Albuquerque Free Fridge, and this information is completely open to the public. You can view it at Open Collective. So why are free fridges needed? I briefly talked about food waste. That is one of the main reasons why. Second is food insecurity, and finally it is COVID-19. In America, food waste makes up 30 to 40 percent of the food supply. That's 133 billion pounds of food and that equals 161 billion dollars. Although free fridges do not accept expired goods, people can donate their surplus before it goes bad and that heavily contributes to decreasing food waste in America, especially since most companies don't allow their food waste to go to use. People around the community are changing their own food waste by donating it to the community fridge. The main reason why free fridges exist is because of food insecurity. Food insecurity is a lack of consistent access to enough food for an active, healthy life. I will touch on the healthy part in just a second. So in America, one in eight Americans face food insecurity. Food insecurity is often related to poverty, but it can actually affect people in many different groups. 
Specifically in New Mexico, one in seven people face food insecurity. One in five children in New Mexico face food insecurity. And contrary to popular belief, people who are employed make up a majority of people who need food assistance. Only 11% of those are unhoused. This is because people who are employed and maybe don't make enough, they use their money for something they deem as more important, that being rent, medical bills, or so they don't prioritize buying healthy food for themselves. This is how free fridges are trying to face food insecurity in America. They provide fresh produce that pantry items do not provide. As Vive says, the food that is in pantries is great, but a lot of times it is going to be canned foods that are better with heating or cooking, or you need a can opener for, or they're lower quality food, or they're just not as nutrition dense. Vive also discusses an interaction they had with an unhoused community member where they said salads that they had from the fridge is the first salad they've had in over a year. That is why free fridges are so important. It gives people access to things that they wouldn't have otherwise, like fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, and a prepared meal. This makes it easily accessible because you can just walk up and take what you need. Whereas federal aid, you have to go through many barriers. This requires filling out paperwork. You have to be a citizen. You have to get an interview scheduled. Then you have to have a mailing address for them to send you a food stamps card or just for the paperwork in general. And if you get through all of these barriers, you have to wait for the funds on top of that. This also takes away the shame that comes from applying for federal aid or from visiting a charity location because you can just walk up and you have a choice and it's an independent process, which is very important for a community member. COVID-19 greatly increased food insecurity. This is because of an increase in unemployment, food banks and grocery stores closed, and for children, schools and the free lunch programs within them closed as well. Because of this, free fridges began emerging a lot more around the United States because of COVID-19. Now that you know what a free fridge is and how much of a vital resource it is to the community, this is how you can get involved. You can start by directly donating to the ABQ free fridge by leaving goods at 606 Broadway. If you are leaving food, please make sure that it is sealed and not expired. And if you make something for the fridge, please make sure to label it. You can also donate pantry items and personal hygiene items such as soap, diapers, and feminine products. You can also donate money, and I'll have links down below for you to do that. Next, you can volunteer. This is completely community-based, so any helping hand is welcomed. You can do this by going grocery shopping or cleaning up the free fridge. Finally, interacting. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm spreading the word. Their Instagram is ABQ Free Fridge and they are constantly posting updates about the fridge and when it needs stock and things like that. If you do not live in Albuquerque, just Google free fridges near me and I'm sure there'll be something in your area or you can start one yourself. Here's a QR code if you wanna to scan to donate and I'm not entirely sure when this video is going up, but if it comes out before May 14, they are hosting the first ever mutual aid fair where they're raising donations for a second location and there's going to be a ton of music food kids activities so please come out and support if you made it this far into the video thank you so much for listening to me also big thank you to Viv for doing the interview with me here are all the references i used so Please go out there and interact with free fridges in your area, in Albuquerque, and get involved in your community. Thank you.